Hey guys, Visiting here, welcome back. And today I'll be showing you how to use the tick command, which is a brand new command for Java Edition in 1.20.3, I'm pretty sure. And I feel like every YouTuber already played around with this command already, and um, I'm the last one. And I feel like a lot of them also just rushed through this and barely explained how this worked. So, I did my research so I can tell you guys. So, we're in our lovely 1.20.4 world. Uh, I'm, I'm too lazy to go down to 1.20.3 and we have this lovely wolf. We have a wolf somewhere. Where'd it go? Over there. Right? Is that a wolf? Okay. Let's, let's not get distracted. So, there's a bunch of stuff. We got tick freeze, tick curry, tick rate, tick sprint, step, and unfreeze. Um, only one that I don't see that's important is curry. Uh, I don't know why. So, let's go over tick freeze, right? Which basically freezes the game. But we can still move, as you can tell. Wow, we can move. Wow. So if I go to this wolf over here, they're fro- Whoa. They're frozen in time. We just became the most powerful player in Minecraft. Uh, unless, I mean, you have to have cheats on, of of, of, of course. So technically, a, if you have cheats on, you become the most powerful player in the world. So you can actually do stuff like punch this wolf. They'll turn red because you can't hit them again until the next tick. But now, after we unfreeze it, so if we do tick unfreeze, this wolf just got knocked back a little bit, and they got hurt. And we're back to normal. Pretty cool. Now, our next thing is tick rate. Now, default of how Minecraft runs normally is 20. So this is our regular Minecraft. And this can go from 1 to, I believe, 10,000. So let's do 1. So now we're at one, and we also get affected by this. Look at this. Oh, oh gosh. Where's that wolf? Oh, 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 oh. This might take a while. Wolf, where are you? I mean, I don't need to show where the wolf is. Even click. Wow, that was a long delay. I clicked like a long time ago. It feels like a, it feels like a second later from clicking. No, that time was fine. Wolf, where are you? It's over there. Okay, really slow. Uh, so let's go back to 20 before I make anyone sick. And let's go to 10,000 just for fun. And now the game's moving super fast. As you can tell from the sun. We're actually walking pretty normally. But the wolf is... Oh, God. Hey, wolf. Wolf, what are you? Okay, everything's moving kind of quick now. I think I should get like a zombie or something to uh, look at. How fast we move? Let me go this way. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! All right. Now that um, we're traumatized from that, um, we'll keep it at 20 to be on the safe side. So actually, we also have a few more other stuff here. So we have to have we have um, where did it go? We have tick sprint, right? So we can fast forward like as fast as we can so we can sprint one whole minecraft day and you're gonna see that the game's gonna speed go as fast as, as fast as it can as you can tell for that zombie we're gonna actually stop it because um it's gonna take forever so we're gonna how do i stop it again oh no i think we should freeze it there you go and then there's also if you're frozen or when you freeze the game you can also do uh tick step and we can fast forward like one, there's one second and one tick. So we just do one second. So we only step forward one tick. Um, so if I break something and I do it, you'll get the particle effect. Where's the wolf? Wolf. Fine, I'll just use a zombie. So if I put the zombie here, it's not going to be burning. But if I do a one second step, there you go. Finally started burning. You can actually like learn a lot from this actually. It's actually pretty cool. You can learn how Minecraft kind of works and see how long something takes for them. It takes one second for the zombie to start burning. Not really one second, maybe like half a second. I mean, this is really good for command blocks actually. A lot of command block developers like me, we can, you know, we got a bunch of command blocks or data packs and then something's wrong here and you can slow down the game and just slowly see what happens here because these each of these command blocks will run one tick at a time, so. That was just actually really cool. I think that's everything 
unless I miss, I hope I, I hope I didn't miss. I, I only skipped this one because I don't understand it. Oh, no wonder. No wonder why I don't understand it because it's just the information about our little game. So it just tells us, hey, okay, the game's frozen right now. Our our tick rate is 20, which is our normal. Our average time per tick is about 2.5 milliseconds when the target should be 50. And then there's also percentiles. Ooh, this is some good information. Why didn't why didn't the information thing? How come I didn't notice that before? How come any other YouTubers don't explain that? <laughs> so yeah, that's it. I think uh, we can do a tick on freeze. We can. This is probably cool. We can make um we can make that one game. I think what's it called? I think it's like super hot or something where like if you stand still, everyone else is frozen, and then when you move, the game goes back to normal. Oh, that would be fun to make. Oh, I, I might make that. I might. It's it's actually really simple, actually. I, I think I know how. It, I can do it probably in like two command blocks. Or three. I'm not sure, though. Uh, you guys could do it before me. It's going to take me like a month or something. Who knows? I'm already late on this video, so. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more weird videos. If you have any cool ideas with this tick command that you want me to make for you guys. Um, leave them in the comments and I'll try to make them. I'm gonna make super hot now or whatever that game is called where you freeze and everyone else freezes and then when you move. I think it's called super hot. I, I don't remember. Oh well. So yeah. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button and bye guys.